Aloha, everyone. It's like a blast from the past, that crazy mid-century palm tree stuff that you saw when you were a kid. Turning it into something for a new era. It's a crazy cultural blender of fun. That's what it is to me. Hey guys, so today we visited Wait, no, the- Wait, stop. I can't do this. Why? Oh. <laughs> so today we went to Tiki Oasis. It was their 20th anniversary. 140 plus vendors. It's like Comic-Con, but tiki culture. Wait, I've never been to Comic-Con. I haven't either, so I hope that's a good analogy. It's the world's largest tiki marketplace. So there's clothing, vintage and new. There's jewelry. There were, of course, tiki mugs. They had uh, tiki decor. They had drinks, artwork, hunky hats. You name it, they probably had it there. Pretty cool. Let's show them some stuff that we saw. All right, shall we go? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hi there. My name is Jim Moore. More Monsters is my company, and I make ceramic monsters. Not for the masses, it's just me making them, but uh, I'm here at Tiki Oasis for the first time selling here. People seem to like this stuff, and so I'm going to do it as long as they like it. It's a lot of work, but uh, it's worth it. It's, it's mostly monster movie inspired stuff. We own the Bamboo Club in Long Beach, a tiki bar restaurant, selling our mugs, designed by Doug Horn. It's the newest uh, glaze, our final glaze on the, the Baboon Run. We also have our sweatshirts and our Mai Tai mugs as well. This is our first year, so yeah, we're excited and you know, we're three years into the business, into the bar, and so we're happy to get out here and show, what, show everybody what we got. dry cleaners but frankly I wouldn't wear it anywhere that it would get dirty <laughs> it's a very special item they're delicate because you know in Vietnam when they were made they weren't made real well this is parachute material from the soldiers great hat my name's Julianne Hall the shop is called Laurel Canyon 1969 I sell vintage clothing from the 40s through the 70s it's true vintage here yes I've always been into vintage. When I was in high school, there was a really cool vintage store near my high school on the corner. So I used to buy things like the Vietnam jacket when I was a teenager. And, um, you know, I did acquire a lot of stuff and then I thought, I gotta share this. <laughs> I can't wear it all, so it turned into a business. Oh, cool. I have to like it. It has to be something I would wear. It doesn't have to fit me anymore, <laughs> but it has to be something that I like that, you know, is my taste. Tiki Tony and Tiki Land Training Co. collab mug. These are the artist proof glaze samples. So right now we're just determining what colors we like, but these will be coming out this fall on TikiLandTrading.com. So they're just the cutest little thing. Tiki Tony's classic toucan will now be a Tiki mug.
Hi everybody. Hey, my name is Ed. I go by Big Ed, or I go by Tiki Broker, or Freaky Tiki. These are some of my my uh, cuts that I do here. I'm, I specialize in palm tree, bamboo. My my true specialty is concrete. I uh, make a special blend of concrete and then use concrete acid etches to make the products look a uh, hundred years old from underneath the sea. Been doing it for 25 years, I guess. I'm not sure. It's a love, not just a business. This is all traditional palm tree. Throughout the ages, uh, it was always palm tree. I, I carve it, trim it, clean it, and then burn it, uh, so you can really see all the uh, see all the grooves and, and, and all the cuts, so they all come out pronounced. This here is uh, one of my concrete pieces. Uh, this is the special blend, and, and the acid that I used on this, when it gets wet, it turns color. Hey guys, today we're here with Liars Non Alcoholic Spirits presenting a delicious tiki jungle bird. Our spirits represent the non alcoholic world of all spirits. We have over 12 variants rums, whiskey, gin, coffee liqueur, amaretto, and and and. And if you stop by today, you will get a jungle bird without alcohol to give you guys a break between all the delicious rum cocktails. and I design exotic jewelry for guys and gals and I make Polynesian pop collaborations with tiki artists. There's a lot of tiki artists here at Tiki Oasis, the world's greatest cocktail party. I design everything, I make everything right here in California and I try to use California artists and California materials. That way we just keep it all like very organic here. I like nature so I do monstera leaves and I do hibiscus and plumeria which are Hawaii flowers and plants but they're universal really. And I also use a lot of Asian inspired um, pieces like lanterns and lucky um, charms. I just find that it just lends itself to like art deco and not just tiki but just every day because every day should be fun. I sell fun. So yes, you can get lost in there for a couple of hours. We picked up a couple of goodies. Why don't you show them what we picked up? Really? All right. So, even though I didn't pick up this particular mug from Tiki Oasis, I couldn't help myself with a tiki drink. This is our new friend, Jose. Jose! I'm so excited. This is from Tiki Tony. Tiki Tony! And, uh, I'm Tony. Tiki Land Trading Company and Tiki Tony. And this is Jose from the Tiki Room. Is there anything in my teeth? No. So we hope that this episode enticed you to go to Tiki Oasis next year. It's a four-day event. So the marketplace is free. Saturday and Sunday is free. Just so you know, just a little small little note. Parking is pretty bad there. Well, it's because it's really popular. Yeah, they're gonna need to move to a bigger venue. That would be my piece of advice. <laughs> it opened at 10 o'clock. We ended up getting there around 10.30 and the place was packed. So get there early, if not, park at uh, JCPenney like we did. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. We good? <laughs> Can I go finish this now? <laughs> oh, that would have been bad.